going on guys? Rob Peasel back with you. And year in and year out, when hockey fans see this, they probably think two things. One, they're a little bit sad that the hockey season is over. And two, well, after all those long nights, they get themselves a very well-deserved hockey vacation. This year, not so much. Yep, we're gonna have all the regular off-season events like free agency and the draft, but this season, we have the added excitement of the Seattle Kraken. The 32nd NHL team joins the league next season, and they need, you know, players. So, as Jesse Campagato pointed out in CBC Sports' newsletter, The Buzzer, the next three weeks are going to be wild. So let's break this thing down. And we're gonna start with this Saturday, the deadline for teams to submit the protected players list for the expansion draft, which works a little something like this. The Kraken must take exactly one player from each team, except of course, the Golden Knights, because let's face it, the team's only four years old. But they can't just take any player because, well, then they would end up with the greatest team in hockey history. The rest of the teams have to submit a list of seven forwards, three defensemen, and one goalie, or eight skaters and one goalie. Those players are considered hands off, as are all their first year and second year professionals, as well as unsigned draft choices. The Kraken can then spend the next four days negotiating with free agents who were left unprotected. Which brings us to the expansion draft. Now remember four years ago, George McPhee and the Golden Knights spent their expansion draft wheeling and dealing and taking on contracts while stockpiling draft picks. Well, it seemed to work. They went to the finals in year number one. So don't be shocked if Ron Francis and the Kraken try to do the exact same thing. Two days later, I told you it was gonna be busy. We have the actual NHL entry draft. The Sabres have the first overall pick and will probably take the player with the most superhero type name ever in six foot six defenseman, Owen Power. Seattle has pick number two, but picks aside, as we've seen in the past, this day can get dramatic really quick. We have a trade to announce. And finally, July 28th. Let the bidding begin because that is the official opening of free agency. Guys like Taylor Hall, Tuka Rask, Gabriel Landeskog, and Dougie Hamilton get to just sit back, relax, and listen to their agents present a bunch of different offers across the table that include a whole lot of zeros. So yeah, even though we won't see any goals or big saves over the next few weeks, the action will be coming in fast and furious. Enjoy the ride.